Ron Paul wants to cut a stunning $1 trillion out of a $15 trillion economy, and he wants to do it in the first year. It would change everything. 440,000 government jobs gone. He'd close one-third of the cabinet-level departments, a commerce, education, energy, HUD, uh, interior departments. He'd also shut down the TSA, close that completely, moving those responsibilities, he says, to the private sector. He'd end funding for foreign wars. He would cut foreign aid. He would cut defense, and he would bring spending back to 2007. Six levels. Look at this chart of his economic plan. This is his spending. Uh, it shows spending dropping off a cliff. Look at that compared with the president's uh, proposals. That drop off would no doubt be felt by everyone. He also wants to reform, not even reform, and the Federal Reserve. He says the Fed is distorting the value of the dollar. He says the Fed printing money uh, to respond to the financial crisis is making the dollar worthless and will cause dangerous inflation. He'd kill what he calls Obamacare and he wants to repeal financial market uh, regulations. Now, on taxes, Ron Paul doesn't believe the government should have your money. He would extend the Bush tax cuts. He would end the capital gains tax. He says that punishes you for success. He would end taxes on tips. He says it's really important for working people and for, for students not to pay taxes on their tips. He says it's immoral to tax seniors for Social Security benefits, and he would lower the corporate tax rate to 15 percent. He goes beyond just lowering taxes. He would support a liberty amendment to end income taxes and to close the IRS for good. Basically, Ron Paul wants to slam the brakes on the American economy and on the government. Middle of the road economists say, hey, look, this would drive the economy back into recession. It would kill up to a million and a half private sector jobs. Paul supporters say, hey, that's exactly the point. The government is crowding out the free market. It's distorting the economy. It's just what America needs, the jolt America needs. Christine Romans, CNN, Atlanta.